Huh? Hi there. It's time for another session of watching the traffic go by. And we're starting with my favorite vehicle here in Fort Wayne, the City Link bus. Look at that bus. Isn't she a beauty? Now, this is southbound traffic on Clinton. And for a while, the traffic hasn't been much to talk about, but today, for some reason, it is not only back to being stop and go, but it's worse than it's ever been. See, that just... See, and the left lane... The left lane is pretty much stop while the right lane is going huh? and you can even see it from this angle <coughs> okay there's there's somebody making a turn couldn't wait so he just cut across and made a left hand turn when he wasn't even at the intersection he, he waited for the northbound traffic to really clear so that he would just make a wide turn like he did into that side street. And this is just, this is really going at a snail's pace over here. See, now it's all stopping again. Oh, now this is interesting. The, oh, see everybody, look at this. That guy wants to get into the left lane also. And this other driver, he sort of, you know, went to go into that left lane. So could that mean that the right lane is closed up ahead? It seems to be because, see, the right lane is moving while the left lane is stopped. So, yep, see, now it's slowing down up ahead, which probably could mean that there's a merge up ahead that that left lane closes. And with the left lane closing, the, the right lane has to allow those in the left lane to merge into their lane. Okay, so now it's moving again. Both lanes are moving again. And here comes two trucks. Two big trucks. In that left lane, there's that big truck and the one directly behind it. Okay, so now, just inching along in that left lane. See, now it's stopped again. Now let's see about what that driver's going to do in the truck. See right see look look at this northbound traffic. See you got people now who don't want to wait going southbound and they're turning to the side street. Now he's waiting for traffic to clear so he can make his move. There he goes. So now the traffic is moving along. Yeah, now the traffic's moving along. And of course, I. <laughs> moving along for about a few more feet and then stops again. Oh. 
Oh. How many more people? I just saw two people make a turn. There's a third person turning into that side street. Okay, here comes another person in that turn lane. And he's turning into that side street also. And I have a feeling there's going to be more of these uh, drivers heading southbound um, wanting to say to heck with this because it's not moving at all. Was that a city link bus uh, disguised as a mobile billboard? I mean, that is ridiculous, I think. I uh, don't see any more activity going on here, but it is it is moving. It just started to move. Up, oh, no, nope, I was a little premature. To see, there's somebody that just turned. Now, will somebody? Oh boy, is somebody in that right lane? Up, oh, nope, up. Nope, here goes somebody in the left lane. Yep. He just made his turn. He says, I'm getting the heck out of here. I'm not sticking around in this traffic. Now you got somebody right there who wants to get into traffic. And he has to, oh, no, nope, there he goes. Oh, oh my goodness. He just crossed over and there was a guy on a motorcycle wanting to turn. And he just cut across the southbound lanes to, to just cut across the street. And so, I mean, that was, that was very reckless what he just did. Because unless, unless the drivers just stopped and let him go ahead, you know, I mean, it, it is possible that, you know, the driver saw that he was trying to get out from that corner, you know, from that side road and said, you know what, he's going to be sitting there for a long time. Let's let him through. Let's let, you know, this traffic is not moving that much. You know, let's just give a space and let him, let him get in front of us. Pass, we'll pass him through. And it's very possible that they did that, you know, I mean, a lot of people do that these days. Um, or at least they did, I don't know if they do anymore, but I know, I remember when I was younger and, and I was in New York and we had traffic like this. And it was practically more stop than go and somebody from a side road wanted to get out and he was trapped. He couldn't get out, so... You know, we really weren't moving that much, so when traffic moved up a little bit, I just kept my foot on the brake and, you know, uh, signaled him, come on, come on, I'll let you through. So, I mean, it is possible that that's what they did. Okay, any more turning? No, I don't see any more. Yeah. That's what we got. Uh huh. Oh, now this is fun. I'm seeing, you're about to see this in a moment. A car being towed. See that? There's a car being towed in the right lane. Look at him. Bad enough your car is being towed, but your car being towed in this kind of traffic is, you know.
So that's what we got. We just we're back to bumper to bumper traffic again, heading southbound. And I don't really know. This is actually I heard from somebody that this has been going on all day. As a matter of fact, when I left my room earlier, it was like this. And that was about, I don't know, 1 o'clock. And here it is. Uh, uh, up, up, look at this. He just took made a U-turn. That's what he did. He said, I'm getting the hell out of Dodge. You know, I'm just getting out of this. And he waited, or she waited, for tra northbound traffic to really clear before they made that m big, huge U-turn. And, of course, that's not the only time I've seen U-turns. Oh, look at this. Frontier. Oh, how lovely. Their service was bad. They charged me $200 for one month. Wouldn't explain why I was being charged $200 a month for TV service. And they had me on the phone waiting for over an hour. You know, so I said, don't go with, don't go with Frontier. And I'd say, look for a different Frontier, because that one's not a very good one. <laughs> Okay, here we have, I guess that's a school bus, or a school van, it's got the school bus color, and the windows are tinted so I really couldn't see inside. And I'm sure it'd be, I mean, I, I'm sure it'd probably be a, 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 a security thing anyway, you know, who's riding here, who's riding in that uh, school van. My guess is, oh, look at that, look at that. Did you see that? They're just driving up that turn lane like it was a third lane. Ain't that crazy? That's a turn lane. That is not a, a third lane. I know turn and third, third sound alike, but believe me, t a turn lane and a third lane are not the same thing. <laughs> Yeah, that's what we got. A lot of bumper to bumper traffic heading southbound. That is really, really something. And you'll notice that it's overcast. You can't even get a good look at the sky at all. Um, I think. People thought it was raining earlier, but see now we're stuck again. See here's somebody else just driving up the turn lane like it was the third lane. It's just absolutely nuts. Okay, here's somebody using the turn lane the way it's meant to, to make turns. That is not at, oh, did he, did he just do a U-turn from the right-hand lane? I really wasn't paying attention. I think he made a U-turn from the, from the right-hand lane. Oh, that's, that's the same spot that somebody made a left-hand turn from the right-hand lane some weeks ago. Dang, I'm really catching this stuff today. <laughs> I had to be in the right place at the right time, you know. See, now it's a dead stop again. 
as you'll see, it's a dead stop again. Okay, now it's now it's moving again, but I don't think it's moving all that much because this traffic's not moving very well. And how'd you like to be on a motorcycle? I mean, and be in this kind of traffic. I mean, it's one thing to be in a car and have your foot on the brake. But to be in a motorcycle in this traffic? Okay, here we go.